You probably recognize Melissa Barrera for her role as the main character, Sam Carpenter, in the latest installments of the Scream movies, which were released in 2022 and 2023. But her acting career spanned much longer than that. The Mexican actress and singer is well known in her home country for starring in a handful of telenovelas, and after establishing herself there, Melissa decided it was time to attempt a crossover. While the stacked cast on the latest Scream film is turning heads, Melissa Barrera is still considered a fresh face in Hollywood. And today, we'll uncover more about her story, including her early life, how she landed her role in the horror franchise, and more here for you on Famous Life. Melissa Barrera Martinez was born July 4, 1990 in Monterey, Nuevo León, Mexico, to parents Rosanna Maria Martinez Garcia and Tomas Gerardo Barrera Thomas, while Melissa was also the first of four daughters. She attended the American School Foundation of Monterey from the ages of 4 to 18 when she graduated high school. During her time at this school, she appeared in their musical productions including Grease, Ada, and Footloose. This is where Melissa ended up falling in love with acting during the drama classes and school musical theater productions through middle school and high school. Other plays she would star in included The Wizard of Oz and Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. She began her professional career during her last year of high school when she led the Mexican production of Romeo y Julieta, known as Romeo and Juliet, playing the part of Julia. After that, Melissa also participated in a regional production of Footloose in the role of Ariel before leaving for college in New York. After after getting a taste of working in theater, Melissa knew that's what she wanted to dedicate her life to. She next auditioned and was accepted to CAP 21, the musical theater school which is part of Tisch School of the Arts at New York University, so she began attending in 2009. During her years at NYU, Melissa participated in productions such as Sweet Charity and Brecht's The Caucasian Chalk Circle in the lead role of Grouche. In 2010, while still in college, she participated in the film Elle for Leisure. In in 2011, she moved back to Mexico City, leaving NYU for her TV debut when she was selected to participate in the Mexican reality show La Academia on TV Azteca. For this appearance, she gained plenty of critical acclaim for her singing and dancing abilities. At the end of 2011, she was chosen to participate in her first telenovela in TV Azteca, La Mujer de Judas, in the role of Zulamita. In terms of singing, during this time, Melissa also worked on that part of her career. Career. In 2013, she was part of the duet Melissa y Sebastian, with whom she recorded her first album and had her first top 10 radio hit with their debut single Mama Maria, a cover of Richie E. Poveri's song. Later in 2015, she recorded the theme song Volve a Caer alongside the Mexican singer Kalimba for her telenovela Tanto Amor. During her four year run working in Mexico, Melissa did a few telenovelas and also continued her career on stage in Mexico playing lead roles in musicals such as Spring Awakening, Young Frankenstein, and the Spanish jukebox musical Hoy No Me Puedo Levantar. The telenovela roles that would follow for Melissa included starring in La Otra Cara de Alma, alongside the Latin telenovela star Gabriela Spanich, and for this, Melissa earned great reviews for her acting abilities. Then, she scored her first lead role in a telenovela as Olvido in Siempre Tuya Al Capoco. This became Melissa's big break as she positioned herself as one of the fresh new faces of Mexican TV, and the show became one of the most popular and loved stories in over 20 countries. After the success of Siempre Tuya Acapulco, she got offered her second lead role in a telenovela, Tanto Amor, in 2015. Melissa further was working on movies at the time and did four films in two years, including the 1950s set Sacudete La Piñas and a modern drama Prima. Then, the budding actress decided it was time to try her luck in Los Angeles with a crossover. In 2018, Melissa was cast in the lead role of Lynn on the star's drama series Vida, which tells the story of two Mexican-American sisters who move back to their childhood home in Boyle Heights, Los Angeles after the death of their mother. Her role on Vida brought Melissa to a more widespread audience, and in 2020, she was cast as a lead role of Sam Carpenter on the fifth Scream film, directed by Matt Bettinelli Alpin and Tyler Gillett. Melissa's audition for Scream reportedly impressed the filmmakers, and her previous work in Vida certainly didn't hurt her chances of getting the role. Her 
talent and charisma were evident in her performance as Lynn Hernandez and Vida, and it is likely her experience in the show helped her to stand out from the other candidates for the role in Scream. Additionally, her impressive language skills likely played a role in her casting. As a native Spanish speaker who's fluent in English, Barrera has demonstrated her ability to seamlessly transition between languages. This versatility is a valuable asset in the entertainment industry, particularly as Hollywood continues to embrace diversity and representation. That installment of the Scream franchise was released in January 2022. In between the release of Scream 5 and Scream 6, which would come out in March 2023, Melissa starred in the 2021 musical film In the Heights as Vanessa, directed by John M. Chu, an adaptation of Lin-Manuel Miranda's stage musical. While it reportedly didn't do so hot at the box office, Melissa's performance was praised, including one critic saying, Vanessa's upbeat salsa anthem It Won't Be Long Now is perhaps one of the more underrated sequences. It's an impressive showcase for Barrera's talents, giving her a wide range of emotions to move through in one number, and one of the few moments in the musical to belt out. In 2022, Melissa also starred in Keep Breathing, which was a six-episode survival drama series on Netflix in the same year. She was in the title role in the film musical Carmen, which premiered at the 2022 Toronto International Film Festival. Of course, Melissa is receiving buzz for reprising her role of Sam in the recent Scream 6 film that was released in March 2023. In various interviews, Melissa has expressed her excitement and enthusiasm for being a part of the popular franchise. In an interview, Barrera described Scream as a dream come true and said she was a big fan of the original movies. She also talked about the opportunity to work with the film's directors, Matt Bettinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillett, who make up the filmmaking duo known as Radio Silence. Melissa has also spoken about the challenges of stepping into the world of horror in the past, particularly as before Scream, she was a performer used to working in drama and comedy. In an interview with Collider, she explained that horror was a new genre for her, and she had to learn how to adjust her performance to suit the film's tone and style. When talking about how her character Sam evolved between the two recent Scream films, Melissa said, in the fifth movie, the cast was thrown into the ring and it's chaos. I'm very happy we get to know Sam a little bit more in the sixth movie. And she added, I was like, it's such an interesting character because she has so many demons that can, if the writers and directors want, explored and lead to a very interesting challenge for me. The sixth one, they take her in that direction. I feel very happy about that. Well, it's clear that Melissa Barrera's performance in this latest Scream along with her castmates has been well received since it broke box office records this time around. Opening weekend alone, the film raked in about $44.5 million domestically, blowing the previous standard set by Scream two years ago, which was $32 million. I'm sure the projects for Melissa will only keep lining up as she continues to work in the slasher franchise. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.